Generations of humanity have come and- Oh, I didn't say the title. Worst things about every generation. Generations of humanity have come and gone for the last 2,000 years, leaving their own personal impacts on it. There was the generation that created wheels, the generation that created cars, and recently, the generation that created mukbangs. Do any of y'all watch mukbangs? Like, unironically, you're like, I'm gonna sit down and watch a fucking mukbang. If it's influencers that I know that are doing like a, ooh, a fast food mukbang and they're just like talking about their favorite foods, maybe. But like this sh oh, fuck no. Or like the Nikocado avocado videos where he'll just eat like literally fucking 20,000 calories of fucking Takis. I can't watch that. Whether born in the 1200s or 2000s, every generation has their impact they crater onto society. And today I want to run through every generation's most terrible garbage and trash faults left onto this world. I'm mainly going to be talking from a American and Western perspective because that's simply what I know. And let's start off with none other than boomers. Boomers are people born from 1946 to 1964. Uh What's the worst generation? I wouldn't say it's boomers. Boomers don't, boomers are like out of touch and cringe, but I, it's us, Gen Alpha. We really haven't given Gen, yeah, right now you could say Gen Alpha is the worst, but that's just because they're like cringe six-year-olds or like 10-year-olds, right? You can't, you can't really knock out Gen Alpha as like, oh, this generation sucks because the generation's not even over, right? Like they haven't, like Gen Alpha is the ongoing generation for the next like 10 years. Dr. Dorable for the sub Sebastian for the fourth. You say Bo is weird. Bo is weird. I would say millennials. I think you always rival with the generation above you and below you. Millennials tend to piss me the fuck off. Pretty, pretty bad. Like 30, like, like mid thirties. Uh, not always, right? I'm not like shitting on all millennials. But, like, a lot of millennials annoy the fuck out of me. Why? Because they hate us. <laughs> for, like, for no, like, it's just, like, when you meet a millennial, it's not all, like, this is stereotyping, right? But when you meet a millennial, it's, like, they think they're better than you because they're a millennial. And it's, like, bro, shut the fuck up. Oh, my God, you were born in the fucking early 90s. I don't care, right? Like, cool. Cool, you lived, you lived before fucking technology. Wow. Uh, sorry, it's just reflexes, my bad. And to a lot of people watching this, they're probably your grandparents or even great-grandparents if they make it that long. But y'all already know that. Let's just start off with the one that's just most clear as day. Old oh, traditional mindsets. Yeah, let's just say that boomers didn't really grow up in the most inclusive of time. We all know this for a fact, and it doesn't really take much to show when you talk to someone that's a boomer. You speak to them, and they speak with them. Yeah, it's like most... Well, I think that's old people in general. Kind of have the inability to realize that they're no longer living in their time. And so then they're just dickheads about everything. Like, oh, this, is a, this isn't how it used to be. Oh, really? It's almost as if our fucking founding fathers knew that, you fucking jerk-offs. This isn't, this isn't right. It used to be another way. Oh, why do you think fucking the, the founding fathers wrote in fucking the capability of amendments? Fun fact. Did you know the founding fathers were like 20? Most people think they're old as shit. Most of the founding fathers were my age. Literally. Most of the people that wrote the constitution were between like 18 and 26. Straight up. I thought they were like 60. Yeah, Ben Franklin and those motherfuckers. More than half of the people that were a part of fucking making this country a fucking country were literally not able to drink alcohol in today's standards. Like, they were high schoolers. <laughs> like, like an 18, 18 to 22. Bro, they're, like, you're high school to college. You're, you're, sti you're not, you're an adult, but like, you're still kind of a kid and you made a fucking country. 
That'd be like if I signed the Declaration of Independence. I know for a fact we all have that older family member that when you hear them speak, you just gotta think, thank God they ain't born in this generation. Because they would be canceled with the swiftness and have every single job opportunity ruined for them for life. Like they would actually have zero chance of holding a future career just off of the tweets they would make. And it's not like I'm expecting them to be updated with Webster's Dictionary of every inclusive, non-gender conforming, hurting terminology. But my nigga, it's the 21st century and you're still saying color people let it go little bro and when yeah you now that's crazy yeah that's fucking nuts if you hear a boomer say that shit and you're like bro what front them about it they just go hmm, well sorry i'm not always updated with you young people's sensitive doohickey terms and i think it's because a lot of them have grown up with this mindset being the norm and normal for so long that they don't bro and old people refuse to learn new shit and like, yeah, when we're old, we're not going to want to learn the new technology because you know you're going to die in fucking five to ten years. So like there's no real need for you to fucking understand it. But at the end of the day, correct me if I'm wrong, boomers know how to use Facebook and Candy Crush. That's, that's it. This is basically a nursing home at this point. All they have to do is change. Somebody said my mom's 32. Really? the logo of the White House to say nursing home. The last two presidents have been absolute depleting fossils. And everyone else in that shit is too. You got niggas free to- Nah, this shit's crazy. You see this motherfucker freeze like three times in like a month? Don't ask him a question and he's just- And like, I feel bad when people make fun of him, right? Because he's old. He's dealing with, like, health issues. But if you are a member of our Congress that is making foundational decisions about our country and you freeze for, like, a minute and a half and, like, just you just cease to exist. Like, you can't even answer a question. Like, that's, that's – we got to have an age limit, right, for, for office. Like, I sit there and I think sometimes, like, I'm 21 and I can legally buy alcohol and smoke weed and shit. And, like, we're, like, one of the only countries that has an age that's that high. Like, every other country is 18 or 16 to drink or smoke. We're 21, right? But, like, some days I'm, like, I don't know if I should be allowed to, like, <laughs> buy alcohol. <laughs> like, like, dude, I can go. I Joe Bart. Can, I can walk into a store and buy drugs, like, just flat out. I can walk into a store and I can legally buy marijuana. Like, that's crazy to me. I like, That's actually crazy to me. Boomers will also complain about how the younger generations aren't already financially set talking about. Mm. Yo, that fucking pisses me off when boomers say to just work harder and then you can fucking achieve some shit. Newsflash, pal. Your house was $7 and a fucking chicken. Uh, yeah. You could fight, yeah, oh, even with inflation rates fucking adjusted, it was easy as shit for you to fucking buy something, bud. You could fucking trade a goat for property. Uh, get the fuck out of here, dude. A fucking single bedroom house today is like $200,000. What the fuck? <sighs> Back when I grew up, I got married at 19 and a house by 22. Why aren't you guys doing the same thing? Like, my nigga, back in your day, you could buy a five cent candy bar and save up fifty to $70,000 for an average house. Let's see how much the average priced home in the United States of America costs now. Uh, oh. We'll see that's with inflation. Like, $410,000 today in the fucking 60s was way less. But they were still making more in comparison to how much houses costed cost to today. Yeah, I don't think this is getting paid off with the McDonald's. Yo, four hundred ten thousand dollars for an average home is nuts, though. No salary, bro. And it's not like they even help the younger generations after this. Everything boomers have done for the economy has been for them. Like, how many old people have y'all seen on the road randomly with the most luxurious convertible car? Meanwhile, everyone else is kind of thugging it out and taking the pain. But I think that's enough of boomers. Let's move on to the next. I don't diss boomers for that, though, right? I mean, everybody does that. It's your dream car when you're 20. You can't afford it until you're fucking 60. And then you buy it, right? Like, I, I see a... It's always, like, weird, though. When you see, like, a 70-year-old in a fucking $200,000 Corvette. Because in your head, you're like, yeah, that was your fucking dream car, buddy. 
Yeah, now he's dry. Now he has, now he hobbles with a walker to get to it. Probably the most uncomfortable car to sit in as an old man. It's Gen X. Gen X are people born from 1965 to 1980. And for a lot of people watching this, this is probably the generation where your parents were born and aunts and uncles, etc. But starting off the rip, I think a lot of people in Gen X kept the same old mindset that boomers had. Which kind of makes sense. I mean, a lot of people pick up mindset from their parents and grandparents. But I don't know. I feel like you're- Bro, but it's like, what's really- I, I wish we could have experienced not having phones. Like, dude, your parents, if you wanted to hang out with your friend, you would just show up at their house. <laughs> like, you would just go to their house. You just, you wouldn't, you wouldn't text them and be like, hey, can we play on this? You would have to talk in person or call a landline praying that they owned a landline. And then you fucking just went to their house. And this was like before T, like most of your parents probably didn't even have TV for the first couple of years of their life, which is like nuts. There is such a divide between Gen Z and millennials versus their parents. There really is so many people in Gen Z that are so mismatched with their parents' mindset, you would think they were born a hundred years apart. Gen X also has a super terrible work mindset. Like I 100% understand, it's good to work hard and be working towards something always and achieving things, but holy f you can at least give yourself some time to breathe and enjoy the fruits of your labor. Well, that's facts. And motherfuckers talk to Gen Z people like we're lazy. And I will say a lot of Gen Zers are fucking lazy as shit. No lie. Some Gen X and boomers will be like, oh, you don't want to work 70 hours a week for the next 40 years and then die. What do you mean you, wanna, you don't want to have five vacation days a year where you can't even travel because you're not making enough to do so? Oh, you... Oh, you don't want to work 12 hours a day for six days a week? Like, why is that? How is that absurd to be like, no, I don't want to do that. Like, I want to live a life, right? Because then then you, you're on your deathbed and you're like, oh, what do I do with my life? Well, I worked a fucking nine to five every goddamn day. It's like some of them got a David Goggins Not even a nine to five, like a six to eight. The six to eight speech on loop 24 7 them niggas would rather die at work surrounded by co-workers than die around their family there's so many gen x people that will complain about the younger generation's work habits and be like i've been working my dad had three strokes and still wanted to work yeah see that's nuts like what in his mind was like yeah i, I want to go back to work Seven days a week, 80 hours a week for the last 15 years of my life, and y'all have the audacity to complain? Like, yes, my- I think a 40-hour work week is fair, but I think people should have vacation days. The United States is one of the only countries that just doesn't really give you that much, like, paid leave. Or any paid leave, for that matter. You're not really required to do so at all. Like, other countries will give you, like, fucking 20 days off a year, where you could just fuck it. You're still getting paid, and you could do whatever the fuck you want. Here, though, it's like, you just gotta work till you die. And the guy am complaining. I don't want to do that. I want to enjoy life with family and friends. I got a solid 80 to 90 years of my life, my guy. Like, just because you were taught to do this as the norm back then doesn't still make it okay. I personally think it's just weird to them that the younger generations decided to not do it and try to change that attitude, at least. It's also annoying that they aren't the most tech-savvy people. And obviously, boomers are the same way, but most of the people running companies and shit now are Gen X. So they have to be caught up with the technology to keep up up with the times but they're just not there and are absolutely stubborn about it too it's like they're too skeptical to have anyone else younger help them with it their imaginary fear is they hire someone younger have them help them the younger person accidentally falls asleep on the job watching ice spice twerk compilations and the company's servers explode and you know i think they're fearful that if they get somebody to help them with technological capabilities that are younger that young person will take their job because younger people are more tech savvy. And if you're a non-tech savvy Gen Xer, you will have your job taken by somebody that's younger, smarter, and more ambitious than you. But they still have the mindset that if you just work hard, you'll eventually be able to live the American dream just like they did. And looking at the stats now, yeah, that's not happening anytime soon. But that's enough of Gen X. Let's move on to the next one, which is millennials. Millennials are people- <laughs> born between the years of 1981 and 1996. And the one thing I personally hate for millennials is them always shitting on Gen Z for everything. Now- Facts! 
Oh, <laughs> don't get me wrong. Gen Z isn't rainbow and sunshines with the atrocities we've already committed. That's Zeusy. No, Zeusy's uh, Zeusy's Gen Z. Zeusy is the is the first year of Gen Z. He barely made it. He barely made it. Generation. But it's weird to me when someone that is a millennial shits on Gen Z all the time, even though they experience the same bias. Yeah, for y'all that don't know, when millennials were young like Gen Z is now, the older generations thought they were the end of humanity, saying that they were too lazy, too overbearing, not trying hard enough. So when I see some millennials doing the same thing they hated back to Gen Z, it throws me off a little bit. Like, damn, bro, I thought we were supposed to be on the same side. What happened? Millennials also love to dick ride the 90s and act like there's 50 years years worth of differences between the 1990s and 2000s they think it's like going from caveman times to world war one when in I reality it does change drastically like the world i really think when is like what, what what year did modern modern today life start 2013 2013 i remember like 20 dude i when i was 10 in 2012 i remember there being like no technology like, you had computers at school and people had phones, but, like, the iPhone still wasn't really popular. Like, I would say, like, the early 2010s is when, like, like, after Gangnam Style is when, like, social media really started to fucking hit. That's when, like, influencers became a thing. That's when, like, technology was just, like, everyday life. Oh, dude, the 2000s had the same amazing childhood shows and music. And yeah, even the early 2000s for sure. Like, dude, 2000, yeah, like Ned's the Classified, iCarly, Victorious, but they were all like late 2000s, uh, 2000, early 2010s. 2010s does. But it's like they just close off their ears and don't want to hear that good media was still made after the 2000s. A lot of millennials also think Gen Z didn't grow up outside at all and think we- uh, What years qualifies Gen Z? I mean, he's gonna say, but 1996 to 2010. So, realistically, anybody in this chat should not be Gen Alpha. Because uh, you have to be 13 to use Twitch. If you were born in 2011 and up, you would be Gen Alpha. For our entire life. Meanwhile, when I was a kid, I was playing outside every day with my neighbors. We would all gather around the green electrical box thing, playing tag, manhunt, jump rope, hopscotch, all the good stuff. I think that's definitely going to be the Coco Melon Gen Alpha kids. Like, they definitely grown up isolated as f from childhood to adulthood. A lot of millennials are also known for choosing the dumbass degrees they have. You have people picking the most artsy, passionate degrees, but not the shit that actually makes money. Which is something Gen Z knows. Like, you gotta get some shit dealing with STEM or go to a trade school or you're probably gonna be broke. And to be fair, they still thought at the time a degree would always hold a high value forever. Yeah, I think millennials was like the first generation to like insanely value a college diploma. To be like, I need this to be successful. Guarantee you a job. It's also the worst when millennials try so hard to fit in with Gen Z and the new social media culture. Like, they'll say the slang and trend words, but not in the exact way. It'll go something like, whoops, not me dropping my pen. No cap, I've got to watch my steps. I just got this huge W promotion at my job. How dank is that? Yacht, man, I'm on a roll. Sometimes you just gotta let it go a bit. But that's enough of millennials. Let's move on to the next one, which is Gen Z. The part you've all been waiting for. The boomers have been sitting in the back with the rocking chair, shaking their dentures in delight. Gen X getting ready to shit on their kids more than they already do. And millennials finally ready to not face all the hate. So let's start off with the one that every entire person, including Gen Z, is going to agree with. Being soft. It's no lie that we live in the single-handedly most generation when it comes to anything it doesn't matter who you are what you <laughs> yeah no people are getting pissed about some shit yeah i would say for like it not not in all regards like some things gen zers get yeah like rightfully mad about but like some shit dude you'll just be like oh my god like fucking dude just shut up say what you do someone will be offended and don't get me wrong okay millennials don't are act like that's not you i mean i get mad but i'm not like offended by everything are pretty soft and similar to gen z but they would be at let's say the empire state building of being offended and gen z is on mars when it comes to being offended by shit. The mere fact that every single creator is terminally scared of being canceled for saying anything out of turn is ridiculous. You got niggas canceling literal comedians whose job it is to make fun of things. And even if you do something by accident, there's no learning because you're- Nah, simply... that is nuts when I see that shit. When like people will, like be like tweeting about how they hate a comedian for making a joke. And I'm like, yeah, sometimes they could go too far, but like their job is to 
make fun of shit, right? Like if they're if they walk on stage and they're a white guy and they fucking say the n-word, like yeah, that's fucked up. That's not a joke. But if they make like a casual joke about something and it's like, "Oh, that offended me." And they're at the show. Like that's another thing I don't get. Motherfuckers that go to comedy shows and then rant about how they hate that com- that comedian because they made a joke that they didn't like. If you're going to pay to go to a comedy show and somebody makes a joke about you or something that applies to you, what the fuck? Like hecklers. Hecklers at comedy shows. You ever see clips on TikTok about some fucking guy or girl that'll just interrupt a, like a small like bar comedy show and they'll be like, fuck you. Fuck you. My, my brother had chlamydia. My brother had chlamydia. No, oh, really? No, that's okay. Which solves nothing and just makes everything 10 times worse. We also got to mention Gen Z is amazing and wonderful. Oh my God. Yeah. Like people get really mad when comedians make fun of their job. Oh, like, dude, like, like that's like not even something to be pressed about. Full attention spans. You can't emphasize enough how much Gen Z's dopamine receptors have been absolutely fried. No one can focus on a single task for more than 10 minutes without feeling the urge to make sure their phone is in their pocket and opening TikTok. And the fact that not only- Well, I also think Gen Z's is the biggest pothead generation ever, which does cause a lack of motivation for people that smoke weed at a young age. Uh, and so I think that is a causing factor for why people think Gen Zers are lazy as fuck. But yeah, I mean, it is weird, though. If you look at the statistics of it, like, younger and younger people get high more and drink less. And, like, if you go through the generations, it, like, it, like kind of shows those gauges but we have to add another video under the video in case if we get bored watching the video on top really who made this shit up even the word yapping is an example of this i've seen niggas comment yapping under mlk speech y'all really have no shame gen z will also get mad at boomers for falling for a dumbass facebook conspiracy theory meanwhile y'all will fall for a random twitter account with no news backing tweeting out that a celebrity died two minutes ago it's crazy how fast we just spread things around without factually checking if it's true and gen z 100 that is a massive problem on social media massive problem this is another no-brainer but the amount of attention seekers and gen z has triumphed every single other generation combined it's 100 because of the internet and how fast things spread but it's put a bad name on everyone else that's normal like a boomer will see one of y'all harass a random lady on the street daily for clout no wonder they think we're useless it's probably their one facebook post they see before hitting a 16 hour old person but you see that one youtube prankster that like harassed a delivery driver for like three minutes and then he shot him in the fucking chest like i i saw that video and it was honestly crazy i he was like he was like leave me alone leave me alone and the guy was like what he was like playing a video or some shit dude just whips out a pistol and shoots him in the fucking chest Nap. Another thing is weird styles, and it's not like other generations didn't have weird styles, but the birth of the word aesthetic took it to another level. Y'all will make anything an aesthetic. I've seen aesthetics from being homeless, aesthetics just glorifying actual gore, and aesthetics glorifying mental illness, which only works with Gen Z because we grew up with the internet and online groups. But I could only imagine if these kids got sent back in time and how much- That dude said he wasn't gonna give up on pranking. Bro, if I'm a YouTube prankster and somebody shoots me in the fucking stomach, I'm quitting YouTube. Like, that's that's the sign to be like, okay, I'm not gonna be pranking people anymore. They would get bullied for this shit. That fake Bart Simpson depression you got would turn into a real depression real quick. And I'm imagining when Gen Z grows up and projects this on their own kids. Also, we have the worst internet challenges and trends to even exist. Like, I don't even know how it got to this point. Millennials had what? <laughs> Planking and the cinnamon challenge as their most dangerous things? We've got the blackout challenge the lick a toilet seat challenge and whatever i do not remember a lick a toilet seat challenge random thing people come up with to do like i really miss when the internet had positive challenges when's the last time we had an ice bucket challenge or something but wrapping things up every generation whether old or new is going to have their impact felt for centuries to come and i know i shit on every generation dude i remember filming myself do the als ice bucket challenge when i was like 10 here combined but don't get me wrong most people are pretty normal and good regardless of when they were born every generation has things they've done that have helped the world in some way and i made sure to leave this message at the end just to see which generation will get triggered the most in the comments before finishing the video follow me on twitter instagram and tiktok as always i love you guys consensually and until next time
I'm out. W fucking video by Tommy. All right, yep, next video. Uh -huh.